Hello friends, welcome to the world of Maths by Ami. Can you solve a 7th grade geometry problem? Yeah, it is the 7th grade geometry problem. You have a question. What would be the sum of angle X and angle Y in this figure? If in this figure, the small boxes are 6 identical small squares. So we have 6 squares. Now you have to find the value of angle X plus angle Y. If all the 6 are nothing but the small identical squares. Okay, I would say pause the video and try to solve the question. I hope you have solved the question. Definitely you can solve the question. It's nothing but a 7th grade geometry problem. One of the easiest problem. Yeah, this is one of the easiest problem. And it has more than 50 solutions. Today we'll check the easiest one. Which a 7th grade student would understand. We have nothing but 6 identical squares. And we know in the squares the all angles are nothing but 90 degree. So this angle should also be 90 degree. If we find this angle, then we can say the required angle X plus Y is nothing but if we say this one is theta, should be 90 minus theta. So instead of finding Y, why not we find theta and say name it. This one is A, this one is B, this one is C. So we have to find angle A, B, C. Okay. Now, what do we have to do? We have to find angle A, B, C. We need to find this angle theta. And we know this one is a right angle triangle. This one is also a right angle triangle. Say this one is one unit. So this would be one unit. This would be one unit. Or we can say this one is X unit, X unit, X unit. This one is again one unit or X unit. So we can say this right angle triangle and this right angle triangle are nothing but congruent. How comes we have a 90 degree and 90 degree and the sides one and side one, side two and side two. So we can say we have a congruent right angle triangle by the side properties side angle side. So these two are the congruent right angle triangles. In the congruency, we can also say that hypotenuse AC and BC should be equal. So we can say these two should be equal. I hope this one is clear. So by the congruency, we can prove or we have already proved AC is equal to BC. Perfectly fine. Can you say if this angle is theta, this angle should be 90 minus theta. And since both triangles are congruent, so we can say this angle should be what? Theta in front of two unit side we have theta angle here also in front of two unit side we have theta angle so we can say this one is nothing but 90 minus theta okay so what we can say this one is 90 minus theta this one is theta and one line we get the summation of all angles would be 180 degrees so we can say this angle is nothing but 90 degree so what do we have we have a b c is a right angle as a slash triangle in which this angle is 90 degree so we can say this angle should be 45 degree and this angle should be 45 degree and we know it's a square so our x plus y is nothing but 90 minus 45 degree that is nothing but 45 degree is our required answer so i hope this one is clear to you and this is really a seventh grader problem but if you want to discuss anything feel free to ping me okay and if you have any other solution please feel free to post in the comment okay thank you and happy learning and bye bye and all the best